Hello, I'm Violet Oon. And I'm doing a series of recipes for SNSA for stroke survivors, healthy recipes and still yummy. And I'm going to cook a sort of a brinjal spice Indian curry style. I found that when you're on a restricted diet, Indian food is one of the best choices because it's very tasty and the taste comes from spices and herbs which is actually powdered actual roughage. So I'm going to start with my eggplant and this is a sort of a good method where you actually dry fry the eggplant. So I'm going to put this not too much oil, a bit of oil and then and I want to cut it fresh because I don't want to have to soak the eggplant. Otherwise, it will change colour. And okay, it's starting to sizzle. I discovered this is a lovely way to sort of colour eggplant, which I learned during the circuit breaker because I was experimenting with all sorts of recipes. After this, I'm going to be boiling it in the gravy, so I don't want it too soft. I just want it lovely and brown. Can you see? I'm going to fry the chilies. The chilies have been cut uh, into half lengthwise. Yeah, so as my chilies are in. You can see that the chili has been seared. I can now add the tomato on very low heat. I'm just going to keep on frying till the tomato sort of exudes a bit of liquid. And then I'm adding the chili powder. You can use garam masala if you feel like it, and coriander powder, salt, very little. And then you just keep on frying. And then I'm going to add a bit of water. I don't want to add too much oil. If I have more oil, I don't have to add the water. And I have tamarind water. I'm not going to use oil. And then I'm just going to bring it to the boil. I'm going to add a bit of low-fat coconut milk. You can just add coconut milk if you feel like it. Um, skim milk if you want it to be less oily. I'm going to let it simmer a bit for about two or three minutes. And now I'm going to put the eggplant and I'm going to fry it a bit in the... But I realised I shouldn't cook it too long because it gets too soft. So when this is done, I'm going to take this wok away. I'm going to do what's called tempering, which I love. It adds that and taste to a lovely Indian dish. I'll show you what it means after this. You actually fry mustard seed urut dal, which is a lentil, fennel or cumin, and I'm going to fry it. And then when the seeds pop, I'm going to put the curry leaves. And then when it all pops, I'm just going to pour it on top. Okay, this is done. Okay, it's still popping, it's still hot, I'm pouring over. But I'm not taking all the oil. So this is a nicely tempered dish. And then I can plate it already. You put the chilli on top, some fresh curry leaves. And then you can serve it already. <laughs>